first thing we need to do is remove the front bezel. The only reason we need to remove the front bezel is to show connection to the ESD. Right. Or you could use this ESD on your table if you have it, but if not, connect an ESD strap. Remove the top cover. Loosen the screw. Thumbs on the pads, slide the back, lift off. Okay. Next step, we have to remove the PCIe riser and cage. There's a screw here and a screw here on the back. These are captive screws. Remove the cage and set it aside. Next, we need to remove the PCI fan and its mounting hardware is this screw, which will loosen the fan duct, unplug from the motherboard, there's a pin here, slide the fan assembly back and lift up and out. Okay. Next step, we need to remove the SAS cable from the back plane and from the base board. This will not be reused, we'll have a different one. Okay. Now we have two pieces to install. You can install just the SAS module itself without the super cap or the battery backup unit or you can connect them both in this case I'll install this one first and then we'll install this one so you can see that you can do this operation first step number one we will have in the box will come the module which looks like this and in the cable kit you will find this cable K00875-001 Attach, and you need to attach the cable to the module first. Attach a push in and secure. It should latch. The cable will fold over like that and set that down. Also, in the kit with the card, you're going to find four standoffs that go in these holes on the board. There's one here, one here. one here and one here. So the standoffs are inserted in the board then use those to help line up your module so that you see the holes in the module line up with the tops of the standoffs. Get it lined up press down to seat. Now, also in the kit associated with the standoffs are four pins to secure the standoffs. The pin looks like that. And each one of these standoffs has one of these pins pushed down through it to spread the standoff features out, the retention features, to hold the module securely to the board. This one seems to be giving me a hard time for some reason. And this one can be kind of tricky because it's right next to the heat sink. There we go. Now, the other end of this cable attaches to the back plane and it's routed down underneath this air dam like that and then plugs into the back plane. Again press and make sure it's snapped in securely. Tuck down. Now at this point if we were only installing the module we would go ahead and put our fan assembly back in. Plug it into the board here 
slide the feature back on the tab and secure down with the screw and that will get the fan assembly back in in which case now you're ready to go with the rock module. If that were all you were installing we would be done. However in this case we're going to put in the battery backup module or the super cap. And the super cap looks like this. And in the cable kit, you're going to find a cable that looks like this. It's K008780001. Okay? Smart super cap cable. And you need to attach the cable to the module before the module goes in the chassis. So the cable installs with the contacts facing up. Oops, got the wrong end. It's keyed so that one end goes in here and one goes in the other. So make sure you get the right end. It's kind of difficult to do. At least it is for me. I oh, have it upside down, that's why. Contacts <laughs> up. All right. Now, this needs to go here. So, hang on just a minute. Let me, let me put this screw back in because I took this out. So you can see. That there is a chat in the chassis by base, there is this screw. This is a retention feature to help hold the super cap in place. So this screw needs to come out. Alright. Now to make this easier, we're gonna move these cables out of the way the other side of the bracket that holds the top cover down. These features here in the bottom are where these features in the bottom of the super cap are going to engage. So line your module up. and then slide all the way as far as she'll go. Now the screw needs to go back. Yeah. So it screws back down. And the screw head will help to keep this from sliding backwards and becoming disengaged. Now these cables now We'll route them down in here. But first, we need to route our cable over to the RAID module. So to do that, first thing we're going to do is disconnect the alarms cable. Because I'm going to route the super cap cable through this channel and around. And there's a bunch of cables already in here. So just kind of push them back against the fan as best you can. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift out the front panel cable. It's marked front panel and kind of move it out of the way temporarily. Down inside here, underneath these cable management features on the fan, I'm going to tuck the super cap cable. Okay? Now once it's in place, I'm going to take the front panel cable and tuck it back down. Okay? Now, alarms cable. Reattach. Just make sure it's seated. Push down firmly. Now this cable we're going to route right through this channel beside the other. Alright? And again, contacts up. and it plugs into this connector on the ROC module. Just kind of tuck him down, tuck him over, like about that. Now, back in goes the fan, engage the tab, slide it back, the connector plugs back onto server board and 
and the screw holding the duct is screwed back down. Now, all we have to do is replace the top cover. I'm sorry, replace the PCI cage. Leave it out. Install our top cover. And reattach the bezel. That's it. Thank you very much.